Let's take a few moments to familiarize ourselves with the OverOps errors dashboard. This dashboard enables folks in dev, QA, and ops roles to quickly identify the most critical errors within their environment and take action. Let's take a look at the main components from which this dashboard is comprised. On the bottom, we have the errors grid, which shows a deduplicated view of all the errors taking place within the environment. As enterprise environments can have hundreds if not thousands of different code locations generating errors, it's critical that we're able to focus on the ones that are of the most importance and have the highest level criticality. For this, OverOps employs an algorithm for auto-ranking different errors within the environment based on factors such as how the code is handled, the type of the exception, the transaction from which it's coming, when was it first introduced, how often it's happening, at what rate, and whether or not that has changed. For each one of those errors, I can hover here and I can see exactly its type, location in the code, the transaction from which it's coming, and the release in which it was introduced by. Clicking each one of these errors will automatically take me to the OverOps arc screen, which provides the complete source code and variable state behind that error debug level log statements, and the entire state of the JVM at the moment of error, namely me or any developer to quickly reproduce the issue and take um, action to resolve it. Here on the top, we see the graphs, which, shows, which show us both the error volume in yellow overlaid on top of the transaction throughput, the calls, the load which the system is processing in a given time within the observed time period. To the right of it, we have the baseline graph, which shows us to the right of the baseline red annotation shown here. The information, all the volumes within the active time frame, and to the left of it, everything that happened in the baseline time frame, enabling us to very easily compare the different periods and get to the bottom of any specific differences between volumes and rates. These blue annotations here on the bottom show us when specific deployments were introduced into the environment or whether or not, and whether or not they're still active. Here at the top, we have aggregation labels, which shows the number of events, the volume, exactly um, previews of which one of them are new, increasing types of critical errors, and the likes. Above which, we have selectors, which really enable us to slice and dice the environment to get to the information that we need. We can filter data by specific application, a microservice or monolith, specific group of application microservices by a specific server group. So for example, if we're doing a canary build, we can just focus in on that, on that group of servers and see if there are any critical errors happening within it. Or in a single tenant environment, we can focus in on a specific customer in a multi-tenant environment, on a target region, in a containerized environment, on a group of containers, and so forth. I can also focus in on specific deployment, which I'm verifying, or filter the types of errors that I'm interested in, such as only show me critical exceptions, or only show me exceptions that are impacting the database. So I can verify that following a database upgrade that I performed, for example, or provisioning change. I can also zoom in on the types of transactions that I'm looking at. For example, I can say I'm only interested in the application and the app microservice with front facing, in this case, server transactions and filter everything to correspond to that. From that point on, I can see, okay, for example, this error that's happening over here should probably not take place, a null point exception or HTTP errors and take action. So as we have seen, this dashboard provides us with a very simple yet powerful and effective way to slice and dice and zoom in on critical errors within our system, whether we're in a dev, QA or ops function.